Greetings and salutations, loyal viewers of this channel. My name is Sean, and today I want to talk about a string of robberies that are occurring across the city of New York, mostly concentrated in Brooklyn, although I do feel like one of them occurred in Manhattan. And what makes these robberies unique is the size of the thieves involved in these robberies. But in addition to that, the fact that they're taking the whole ATM. They're lifting this crap up out of the store. They've done it about 20 times in the city of New York, loaded into a van, and then have taken off, making themselves tens of thousands of dollars in the process. Now, we're going to get into this. We're going to break this down. But before we do, I want to thank everybody who supports this channel via actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Give me the money. Give you give me the money. Okay. And I want to remind you that we are fast approaching Wednesday, October 23rd, where I will be debating Joshua Eagle on the issue of whether or not libertarians should vote for Vice President Kamala Harris for president. So please, if you're in Lower Manhattan, register with the link in the top of the description. Come out, enjoy. It will be a great time. I'd love to meet you. Your cops are looking for a couple of bad guys who have set their sights on prizes much bigger than just cash register. So first of all, right off the top, I just want to say the local news incredibly goofy. Here you have the guy setting up this segment where he's like a string of robberies that are going on in convenience stores across this nation, but they're grabbing something a little bit bigger than your cash register. Yeah, I get it. They're they're grabbing an ATM. That that's what that's what they're taking. And by the way, if you're out there in the audience and you're going to write in the comments ATM machine when ATM stands for automatic teller machine, therefore meaning when you write ATM machine that you're actually saying automated teller or machine machine, then I hate you and you need to shut up. But, but, but we'll get into that a little bit later. At the end of the video, I will scold you much more on that. But first, let, let's look at this ridiculous robbery. Oh yeah, they're targeting ATMs. They've struck more than a dozen times at delis throughout New York City, and they're fast. In most cases, they're in and out in less than 60 seconds. Or like what we like to call faster than a New York minute. So a couple of things. First and foremost, when two enormous black dudes come in with ski masks on their faces and shorts because some of these robberies occurred in much warmer weather, you're definitely in trouble. Something is definitely going down in your particular store and that little deli cat is not going to protect you. Secondly, it's actually kind of impressive the way that these two guys efficiently lift out the ATM machine. Just kidding. I would never call it that and carry it out of the store. That being said, the local news guy that I was making fun of in the beginning of the segment for saying they're taking something a little bigger than the cash register. He just said, or what we would call a New York minute in and out in less than 60 seconds or like what we like to call faster than a New York minute. What, 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 what are you doing, guy? This this is serious. If these are big, strong arm robbers, or not arm robbers, but robbers committing a robbery on video, and you're cracking jokes, you're doing shtick. It's like if you were doing this segment and you wasted significant portions of your coverage making fun of people who said ATM machine throughout the course of your video rather than focusing on the brazenness of the theft. Totally pointless, totally time-wasting, and, and I find it disgusting. Oh, you guys will see just how quickly these uh, criminals work in just a minute. But I'm standing in front of the deli, uh, the third one that was hit by these criminals. This was back in the summer. So first of all, I just want to say, because I know if I don't say it, that you preverts out there in the audience will bring it up. But Janice, you? Man, she's, she's an attractive lady, N nice looking lady, but I do feel bad for her because she's obviously being put in a black neighborhood as an Asian woman, and we know based on the crime statistics that uh, she's very likely to be attacked throughout the course of this segment by one of the residents in said neighborhood. Secondly, and this is incredibly crucial, especially for my podcast listeners, it says cash machines in the lower third right there, which I find annoying because you got to pick a side on the ATM versus ATM machine debate, and right there, are you saying cash machines to me it's it's not something that that actually fits i i don't like it i don't respect it i don't respect you so janice you just shut up now that list has gro grown excuse me to 20 different delis mostly in brooklyn and one in manhattan so yeah like they said there's been actually 20 of these brazen steal the whole atm robberies that have occurred in the city of new york 19 of them have occurred in the borough of brooklyn one occurred in manhattan and north manhattan 
Manhattan, so very close to the South Bronx. And the employee who works here, um, who I talked to earlier today, he is convinced that these men came into the store in the days before all of this and did their research. And when she talks about them coming in earlier in the day to do their research, what she's actually referring to is them coming into the store to check whether or not the ATM is bolted down so that it could be lifted out by these two individuals. And like I said earlier on, where the guy was wearing the shorts, that was obviously during warmer weather. That one took place during the summer. But we're seeing this pattern happen over and over again. And the reason why is because the criminals have gotten so brazen. I'm here from 2015. Never heard that. So I appreciate them actually interviewing one of the guys that works at the deli, but I do want to say that obviously this has never happened at this particular deli because I would assume that if you had your ATM machine stolen from you, yes, I said ATM machine before, then your next one would be bolted down. And in this particular case, it was not bolted down. This is kind of a one and done situation right here because obviously you would take precautions if you realize that a whole ATM could be lifted out by two brazen criminals. Now, this wasn't the guy that was working. There was a different guy that was there. They don't interview him, unfortunately, but you'll see when they review the surveillance video what exactly happened and where this guy was while it happened. It all happened in less than 30 seconds. He take an ATM, he put it on the floor. Another guy, he's coming. He take it. Put in the car and he go like one, two, three, like. Omar Palal says his co-worker was the one behind the counter around 11 p.m. that day. He says the two men walked into the A&H Deli on Ralph Avenue and Herkimer Street, picked up the ATM, walked out, and got into a van. His co-worker too stunned to even act. And after that, he called the cops. And the cops, he's coming after when he left. When he said the blade for the car, you know, have played. Yeah, so one of the more annoying things that has been happening in the city of New York, and likely it's been happening in your particular area since the pandemic, is the fact that these cars that are driving around this city aren't using license plates or are using the paper plates. Now, normally, this would be considered grounds to pull somebody over. You're driving without a license plate deliberately that you wouldn't be identified. But the fact of the matter is, ever since the defund the police movement, post George Floyd, post the Black Lives Matter riots, these types of stops have been pulled back on very dramatically. So we have situations where people can just commit 20 robberies with a big white van that doesn't even have a license plate. And for some reason, that van isn't getting pulled over. These people aren't being identified. And what's really obnoxious about that is the fact that we actually have images, not from this particular robbery, but from other robberies of the suspects' faces. Pulal says there are two ATMs in the deli. One is bolted to the ground. The other, the one that Crooks took off with, wasn't. He's coming maybe before. He checked an ATM. He's not stuck in the floor. This is what happened. This happened back on July 8th. And so this guy right here says that he thinks he saw the guys come in earlier to check whether or not this ATM is bolted down. And he believes that that would reveal who these suspects were. And if true, if that actually is factual, I do want to ask the question, why aren't we seeing surveillance video of the suspects that he's referring to from earlier rather than the mass people from the robbery that we're seeing right now? Maybe that was turned over to the police. Maybe the police don't believe that that's actually the right people. Maybe he's trying to, out of an abundance of caution, not go after the person who was shaking the ATM suspiciously days before the robbery. But for me, that would be a way better look, a way better representation of who we're looking for as suspects than the video of them with the ski mask, even though from other robberies, they don't appear to be wearing any mask at all. But it would help us understand whether or not they were the same people. Now, police say this deli is just one of 20 that have been hit in an ongoing robbery pattern. Of the 20, 16 were successful ATM robberies, and all but one happened in Brooklyn. The NYPD released these pictures of the cars and people involved in these crimes between June and September. Luckily, no one was hurt in any of these robberies. So yeah, of the 20 robberies or 20 attempted ATM thefts, only 16 were successful, which is actually pretty good. That's an 80% success rate. But as you can see, they actually bring multiple cars to these scenes. You have this Honda SUV, you have this white van. And while I'm not sure if all of them or only some of them have no plates or paper plates during the particular robberies, the fact of the matter is this should not be allowed to go unchallenged, yet it's happening in the city of New York over and over and over again. And the fact is the local news covers 
covering it now once it's 20 robberies deep or 20 attempted robberies deep, 16 successful, is a little bit embarrassing because you could have got on this. But I guess that this particular video, even though it's from the summer, is the most eye-catching version of these robberies because these guys very efficiently were able to steal this ATM. They were able to get this money. And for some reason, this, again, is allowed to go unchallenged. You would think with these other images where you could see their faces, we would eventually get an arrest. You would think if they were driving around without license plates on a very large white van away from a robbery scene, then you would be able to pull said van over in order to initiate an arrest against these individuals. But for whatever reason, these robberies are just kind of happening. They're just a new thing. If you have an ATM that is not bolted down in your store, it is likely to be removed. And I guess we're supposed to accept this because why, why wouldn't we? Why would we expect uh, law and order? Because I mean, that, that would just be dumb of us to think that that could be a thing that occurred in the city of New York. If you have any information on who these people might be, please contact Crime Stoppers. Now, look, I don't know what the reward is that Crime Stoppers is offering for this particular case, but if you do have any information, I definitely recommend you call into the Crime Stoppers tip hotline, specifically over the 911 hotline, because we've actually done a story about somebody who saw the reward money. That's how they were tipped off. They ended up phoning it in and ended up leading to an arrest. But since they called 911, which is what you would want people to do in emergency situations and not the Crime Stoppers tip hotline, they were not granted said reward money. So in this particular case, there haven't been any injuries in any of the robberies. If you know what's going on and you want to make some money, maybe maybe call it in, maybe, maybe do the right thing, maybe actually reveal who the criminals actually are that are living among us. But hey, that's, that's just a suggestion for me. Now, of course, I want to know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. If you like the video, show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on the social medias, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about brazen ATM robberies. Till next time.